lower receiver, Gen 2. So yeah. So anyway, what y'all think? Watch, I'm gonna build something out. I mean, I'm in, you know, I'm in, a, in the wrong state to be doing a lot of crazy builds. You know, California, you know, it's messed up out here. But I'm gonna build something probably in the 18 inch range somewhere. I don't know, I might build a pistol, so what? And just pay the tax stamp, I don't know. But y'all let me know in the comments what should I build. But if I do build, I'm letting y'all know, I am not really a gun expert. So I'm not building all this shit like, I'm gonna buy a lot of kits and already pre-assembled stuff. Like I'm building, I'm gonna probably get a complete upper. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna mess with the gas block system and all that stuff, so just letting y'all know. I'm leaning towards stag arms or arrow precision. I, I don't know who, who, you know, whoever makes some good up, uh, some good uh, already built uppers. But the rest of the bottom part's not too bad. Just gotta make sure you get the buffer too and all that stuff. But yeah, man, arrow precision. Got that lower. So for a lot of people who don't know, this is the gun really. This is the, this is what you need lowers. So if you if you if you know if you can't afford an AR, but you want to have an AR, and and you know you want to have an AR, but you don't have it already built, just buy you a lower, or buy a couple lawyers lowers, and then you always can always build out. But this is the gun in California for the most part. This is the registered part. Everything else is a part. This is the gun. So. I mean, California get you a bunch of these. You ain't gotta buy Aero Precision. This is a higher end, lower maker. You can get Andersons. They're like 40 bucks, 50 bucks, whatever. So, yeah, that's it on the AR. I mean, you know, I don't know if I actually showed my AR before, but I go, I'm gonna bring it out anyway. Yeah, this is my AR. So. You know, and this is uh, by DPMS, this AR right here. And I put a lot of upgrades on this stuff. I mean, this is this is a stock stock. I didn't do any of that. I put this on it. Yeah, I put that on there. You know, I got the Ranger bands to keep my uh, sling tied down. You know, mag pole, flip up sight. For the front, I mean for the rear. You know, it came with that classic front sight on there. And you got magpole grip, magpole, vertical grip, magpole, furniture everywhere, hand guard. You know, I got a it's, it is clear. You know, I'm a lefty, so it is clear. And this is a uh, Raptor. Radian Raptor charging hander, ambidextrous. You can see that. So I put that on there. These are kind of expensive too, by the way, the Radians, but they're good. I like them. So I got that on there. Uh, yeah, I got the ambidextrous safety switch because I'm lefty, like I said. You got it on both sides. And I got it right here too. So I got that on there. I got this uh, Vortex Red Dock. I'm, I'm gonna move it forward a little bit. I think I got it too close. When I was shooting the other day, it, was, it felt like it was a little bit too close. I'm gonna push this up a little forward. And uh, other than that, I got it fixed out. This is a little cheap ass light I got with a, you know, I got the pressure pad right there. So, I mean, it's good enough, you know. I mean, if I was gonna go into some serious battle, I probably wouldn't have this kind of light on there. But it's good enough, and I got this little, cheap tripod bipod I mean you know just you know these extend out just you know just to have it but I uh, don't you know yeah that's pretty much it DPMS nice little AR nothing special I'm not gonna probably buy any more I'll probably keep that AR build this out to like a pistol size and and I've been doing a lot of research when you build these ARs out and stuff so how to buy most of your parts complete unless you're really inept in building ARs and yeah, I said on this one, I think I'm gonna go no shorter than I'll go 11 and a half, probably somewhere around there. 11 and a half, somewhere that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, that's my AR. But other than that, just want you to know, did some upgrades to the pistols because them, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I, I'm not really, I don't have a lot of money to be buying all these EOTEX and you know, even Holosuns. I like Holosun, I'm gonna try to get one for something, but I don't got that kind of money. I, I actually, I do got that kind of money. <laughs> But I ain't trying to spend that kind of money. So that's why I buy quality uh, weapons because I don't really want to be doing a whole lot of stuff to them. I want to be ready to go out the box, good to go. And I'm old school, so I'm not really into all this trickeration stuff. 
So, but I did update all my clocks, and uh, I had uh, oh, one more thing. So I got a, I got a Glock 29 SF coming, and it hasn't came yet. But I went and bought all the things for it. It's kind of like a, you got this, this kid coming. You got all these clothes and a crib and all that stuff. Kind of the same thing. So I got some uh, Tritium Pro. Handgun nice sights. No, wait a minute. This ain't the ones I got. No, these are the ones I put on my, uh, I upgraded all my Glocks. So I put these on a 21 SF. You see the, the model numbers that goes with it. So I put these on a 21 SF. These are the Glock sights in there. I took them out. I just put them back in there because, you know, you never know. You might sell your stuff and you want to put it back in the same stock format. That's, that's why I keep everything that I take off that I, that I upgrade. So I put these on a 21. And... Something ain't right here. Oh, I don't know what I did. Hold on one second. Yeah, put those on the 21. Then I put these, these are the same ones. Yeah, these are the same ones. Yeah, I put those on the 21, I put those, and I put this, these on the 23. So these two are the same. These two sites are exactly the same. So you can put them on multiple different Glocks. You know, they got the numbers right there. So I put these on the 21, and I put these on the 23. You can see right there, it takes the 23. So those, I just put nice sights on those because most, those are the two pistols that I probably use for home defense more likely, is the 21, 45, and, and a 40 cal like bedside i keep those two there mainly i don't that's probably not going that's not my carry per se not saying i wouldn't carry these but that's not what i carry for the most part so i got those on now those two pistols then i got this the tritium pro tfo with the tritium in the front and the fiber in the back i got that on the glock 19 so i put those on there again these are the glock sights in there and it shows you how to slide picture. These ain't the highest ends you can buy, people. I, I got some good deals on these. Oh, let me take that back. No, this is the Tritium Pro right here. I put these are the ones that's gonna go on the Glock 29 with the with the uh, the orange in the front. That's what's gonna go on the. Uh, that's what's gonna go on the, on the Glock 29. These. These are on the 19. And this is the twenty, the, the twenty-one and the twenty-three. So that was my, that's my sight upgrades, basically. Those three. Then I, uh, I slapped in, I slapped in. Uh, everyone got a brand new tungsten rod, new spring. These are all the ones that came with the Glock. But everyone got one. Twenty-one, twenty-one, nineteen, and twenty-three. And just for the record, these these are uh, guide rods that come with the Glock, the stock ones. Uh, I'm just gonna let you know, they are not bad. Matter of fact, I talked to a, 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 a sheriff the other day, and he said, "Let me just show you what they look like." This is a Glock 20. This is the Glock 23 40 cal. Let me just make sure it's safe. Magazine. Nothing in there. Safe direction. Okay, so now let me uh, break this down. So the guide rod, they basically, one's plastic and one is steel, tungsten steel. So that's, the, that's what you're paying for. And I don't have a scale with me, but the weight is significantly different. Like this is just like a, I mean, you can, you know what I'm saying? You can just see how that just flies, like flies over in the air. So it's significantly different. It's heavier, and but just to let you know that the Glock stock ones. I talked to a officer, 20 years in the force, only fired his weapon two times in 20 years. But obviously they fire a lot for practice. Over 10, 15,000 rounds through his Glock. Stock or stock everything on his Glock. So that's coming from a cop. So you know that shoots all the time at the range. So all of the Glock stock parts, in his opinion, do not need upgrades. He said it's just basically a preference of what you want and how you want the gun to perform and, and all that. So he said that the, the thing with Glock is, is that 
yeah, they make a, you know, people complain about this, that's the spring is, is, you know, got slop in it and all that kind of stuff. But the more you shoot it, the five and a half pound spring, or the six pound, close to six pound spring, five and a half pound a trigger, I mean, he said after a wear, that thing goes all the way down to like three and a half, to four, four and a half, four pounds with a lot of shots going through it. So everything has a purpose behind it, what Glock it sounds like. So, but their, their stock parts, for the most part, he said, they are very durable. They last a long time. It is not really a, a cause of concern for upgrading. And those are the night sights, but it's not, you ain't gonna be able to see it though. I put these on myself, but. And then that's the 19. I don't even know if you can see this. Anyway, yeah, that's the treating in the front and the fiber in the back. And then uh, 21, same thing, night sights. I put, I got this light right here. This thing is like a thousand lumens, super bright. It ain't no laser on it, but I, it's, you know, I don't, like I told y'all, it's, that's what this light, let me tell you a story on this light. This light is from, uh, I got this thing off Amazon. And basically, I look at the specs on it, it's the same, it's kind of the same profile of an Olight or a TLR because it mounts on with a locking screw right here, but it takes two, uh, two of those big lithium batteries, but with a thousand lumens, I mean, it's freaking bright, but it's the same profile, so to speak. It looks like a TLR or Streamlight or even an Olight to a certain degree, but I like the way it looks, and also I put the tungsten in here so it keeps that down. You know, that Glock has that recoil, so it's like, you know, it wants to rise on you. So now when I shoot this, and when I shoot all, when I shoot the 40, for example, the 40 and and the nine to a certain degree the, the nine doesn't have as much as any of them but recoil it is but now it knocks it down now with the tungsten it kind of keeps it more down so they do work so it's a, it's a pretty cool thing so uh yeah that light's pretty good like 30 like 40, 35 bucks something like that uh what was it it's not like 40 it's like 40 bucks but it works it's good enough and like i said I, when i carry i'm not gonna have a light on anyway because in the daytime i don't go out at night and if i go out at night I'm more of a tactical brother, so I got a little small tactical light that I have, so it doesn't matter. The lights are only for home defense for me, to be honest with you. As long as the light bright and it works and it's functional and you can't make it come on accidentally, that's why I don't like these cheap ones right here because it just goes left, right, and if you hit your pocket on it or something, you might turn it on accidentally, so this is, wouldn't be a good... I just got it because it's just going. if I did use it, it'd be only in my home, whereas this one... It's that you know you have to really work it to get that to get that to come on, so no accidents on that one. But yeah, that's my thing on the lights, man. I ain't spending no three hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, no damn old light, all that crap. It's just my butt. I go buy a whole nother gun before I spend that kind of money. And also, I got some, some talon grips coming uh, for the twenty nine. Yeah, I got some talon grips. I like talon, and I usually go for this uh, the this, this sandpaper. I like that feel on that, so I always buy Talon. All my blocks got Talon. I bought another mag just to have, because California, you only get two, and I like to have three. And I bought these uh, grip extensions. And no, they're not Pierce. I got some little knockoff company. You get three for like 15 bucks, and my boy had the same gun, same, and he has the Pierce. And if you didn't know it was Pierce, you wouldn't know that this wasn't Pierce. So. Again, Pierce was trying to charge $10 for one, and I got three of these for 15 or something like that. And it does the exact same thing. I did it myself, took the plate off. No big deal, super easy. So I'll be trying to save bucks wherever I can. So, and I got, it's a grip extension. Why well, I want to spend 10 bucks for one grip extension so I can get three for 15. And then I got this little uh, holster for it that, uh, now you notice it's right hand, but I'm a left hand shooter, but I'm a, it's gonna be my conceal, my 29. So I got it this way. So it's gonna be like that. You know, and this is a $35 holster. And what's cool about it is, uh, this light keep going off. What's cool about it is that this fits in here too, without this light, obviously. See, it won't go in there now, but this, the, the 21 SF fits in here too. So once again, one holster, two guns. So that's pretty cool. I got that going. What else I got up here? Oh yeah, I got a tungsten rod for the 29. So, extensions. I got a few things for the 29 when it get here. And I got some ammo. So 
So I got some ammo right here, some 10 mil, PMC. And what is this doing? Uh, 170 grain, 1200 foot pounds. For 1,200 feet per second, I mean, I'm sorry, foot pounds, that was at work today. Yeah, that's them 10 mil hollow points. It's a nice big round. In comparison to the 45, this is my 45 home defense. So let's see how that looks. See, that's just fatter, rounder, taller. So yeah, that's that 10 mil. Now the guy at the ammo store hooked me up on this, on this ammo right here. He hooked me up on this box right here. It was only one left and it was, it fell off the shelf or something and it, it was open. So you know how like people go in the store or something, they push it in the back of the shelf with a damaged property. So they just push this in the back of the shelf because when they was unloading, the guy was telling me that one of the guys, the clerks dropped it and it, they flew all over the place but they wanted to keep it in the original box, so they just taped it up, but they didn't sell it it's, until the very end. When I came in, they didn't have, this was the last box, but they knocked $15 off the box because it was the last box and it was kind of, the box was damaged. Like, who cares, right? This shit was hella expensive. Like, normally I think it was, uh, this is 50 rounds, 10 mil, 200 grain, uh, yeah, HSM, I don't know who that is, but yeah. Real, real 10 mil ammo, not 180 grain. This is 200 grain. And he gave me this for, I think, if, I mean, I don't know where receipt is at, but I want to say I got it for 45 or something. It was normally 56 or 60 or something like that. He knocked a nice piece off of it, though. But, uh, yeah, this, these things, is, man, that's going to do some damage. That's going to do some damage. That's a fat-ass round right there. So he said this is hot. This is some real 10 mil ammo. This is not necessarily real 10 mil ammo because it's only... 170 grain. I mean, look, the 45 is 185 grain. So, you know, it's an interesting concept, the 10 mil. So if you don't shoot the really, really hot stuff, and you're just shooting basically 40 or 45. Depends on what are you, what are you shooting out of too. So yeah, so that's what I got for YouTube. A couple things right there. Just upgrades, you know. Like I said, you know, uh, for the Glocks, for me, I'm just going to be upgrading, you know, this, this, you know, all that pyramid trigger stuff, the trigger. I've been talking to a lot of old school Glock owners. And they said, man, the more you shoot them things, them triggers get right where you want it. And to be honest with you, I, every every part on Glock, I've already adjusted to it. Because this is my, I've been owning Glocks for a while. And I just put a site upgrades up here in tungsten up rod in here. And so, uh, for the most part, I learned how to shoot with, the, with their cheap iron sights and their old, all their parts. So now when I go in there with all this new stuff shooting it now, it does make me... It does make it more stable and everything's good. It performs a little bit better, but it doesn't make a difference. So there you go. I don't need no freaking uh, red dot on my gun to shoot. I'll take anybody to the range and, and, and tear that ass up with just these. And I challenge anybody on that. I'm a really good shooter. I'm not trying to brag, but I can shoot. So I'd learn how to shoot with the bare minimum. And I think that's the way most people should be. Try to train yourself on the bare minimum. Why are you using a red dot at a range? I mean, that's stupid. Like, you should just be using iron sights or a carry gun that has iron sights, you know. All, all that other stuff is tactical. I think people watch too many freaking movies and stuff, and they just want to be out there having all that stuff. But really, if you've got a Glock pistol, spend 600 bucks, but, man, that's all you need. The, out the box, a Glock is good to go. Just go get ammo. you got capacity and, rat and mags. you got everything. And you can do simple upgrades, but to just go Gucci all out, I mean, you can do what you want. It's your money. But it doesn't make that gun any more perform anymore. It just probably increases the value with all the accessories that you put on it. But performance though, yeah, man, you, you, you know, Glock's good. And like I said, it ain't the best gun for everybody, but that's pretty much all I buy. I'm not buying any, I, if I was gonna buy any more guns, I mean, these newer guns coming out, uh, like there's a couple guns are catching my eye. Like I, I did, I ain't gonna lie. I do like the, uh, the CZ, make, they make some good hand, some good pistols, you know. And uh, I ain't gonna lie, I, I like the 1911s, but it seems like when I go in a gun store, all the 1911s I see, they way out of my price range, the ones I want. So, you know, it's all good. I just stick with my little Glock, be a little Glock fanboy, whatever, but I like them. They shoot well, they're accurate, and they're easy to work with. You ain't gotta be no freaking gunsmith. You can just be an average Joe, and you can clean and work on your clock, and everything's compatible. You can buy all kind of aftermarket parts, so it's cool, man. It's all good. I don't care if people hate on me on that, but that's all I got for y'all, man. I got that. I'll let you know when that boom, when that 10 mil come in.
it's gonna be on. But remember, get y'all some sights, get you some good iron sights. And like I said, this, this these, I'm getting them like these, these, these Tritium Pros, they're like about 60 something, but these, the TFOs, they're a little expensive. These are like about 100. It depends on where you go, but these Tritium Night Sights, these are on Amazon, Amazon folks. Y'all can get these for like 56. These these night these tricky because I get I got a funny feeling they're about to roll out a whole true flow gonna probably roll out a whole line of new shit. And so that's why I'm letting all these old ones go for on Amazon for 50, 60 bucks. And so when I saw that I jumped right on it. Oh and by the way, these little guy rods, I didn't pay full price for these things. These things at the Glock store in San Diego, they go on for like normally 65 bucks or some shit like that. Man, I went there on Thanksgiving. Uh, day before Thanksgiving, they had a big blowout sale at Glock, and I got fucking three three guide rods for like Man, let me just double check how that went. Uh, yeah, I got three guide rods for. Basically, they were. They, they there's two different prices. The 19, the 23. Those are different price, but the 45, the 29, they're different price. And uh, they was giving them things out for 30 percent off or something like that. But when I bought three, he gave me a huge cut, like 40 percent off the whole thing. So I got them for a good price. And uh, yeah, man, so I got a good upgrade, all that stuff going for a good price. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna probably do. I mean, I might slowly but surely fade these these whack-ass laser lights out, you know, but I'm like I said, I, when I carry, I'm not carrying with no light because I have to buy several more holsters and conceal holsters with a light. I don't even know if I wanna mess with all that. I'm just gonna go conceal a holster and then just, I just throw this in the car, boom. Then and then when it get dark, then I can just put it on and you know if I need be. But I'm not. No, I don't. I don't see all the necessary for all that. So, Dan, your weapon should have a light, but I don't know if you need a light to carry every day in broad daylight and all that. So, depends on how you do it. So, drop the comments if you guys got a concept of how you do that, how you work your light with your pistol and your concealed carry. I mean, I see cats with a freaking hole of sun, a light, and all that in your holster. I'm like, damn, dude, that just, you know, what I'm saying. I, because a Glock without no light, that's not much. This is a Glock 19. So I'm just like, man, like I can't imagine having all that shit all up in there. And this is just a 10 round mag. So I can't imagine with 17 clip, 17 all that. That's just too much, man. So let me know how y'all do it. I'm not, I'm, I'm not a fan with lights in the daytime. And I'm not a fan with them on concealed carry unless I'm gonna be going out at dusk. Then I know I'm gonna be in the night. But that's why I got the nice sights and all that stuff. So I'm gonna keep my concealment. I'm gonna be running around hiding or something. I don't wanna be on no big ass light flashing anyway. So that's what I got for you guys. Hey, be safe. Let me know what y'all think. Uh, stay up. Uh, again, if somebody watching, I made some mistake or said something wrong. Don't kill me. I'm not a pro. I'm just trying to have fun. Uh, if you're new to the channel, check out all my other stuff. I do got the glue season two coming out pretty soon. I'm gonna create a whole nother channel for that. But uh, y'all remember, man. Guns is for safety, it's not for killing. The 2A community needs to understand that and we need to be safe and protect each other, follow all the rules, all the compliance, even though it may be tedious or dumb, it'll be in our best interest to follow all the rules in the state and the counties that you live in. Therefore, when something happens, you know what I'm saying, you in compliance, you did all you possibly can. That's what I got to say for you guys, man. Be safe, peace out.